I would like to tell you a story. This was actually brought to my attention by... Funny enough, I mean, this almost sounds like the beginning of a joke. Um, a young man who is um, mixed between black and white and American, uh, whose parents are Jewish. Both parents are mixed black and white. And he came to become Eastern Orthodox, and he's a full communicant in the Eastern Orthodox Church. So his parents are not only Jewish, but communist and uh, supporters of race baiting things such as uh, Black Lives Matter and whatnot. But he told me about this, and I would like to tell you about this as well. In the 20th century, um, since the Israeli occupation of the West Bank, Jacob's Well has been a site of contention between Christians and Jews. This is not true, but you'll see what happens. In November of 1979, a time of increased tension on the West Bank, the custodian of the well, Archimandrite Philonumo, Menos was found hacked to death inside the crypt housing the well. The assailant, a mentally ill resident of Tel Aviv, was apprehended three years later and confessed the slaying and others included an assault in an assault on a nun at the monastery and the axe murder of the Jewish psychiatrist in Tel Aviv. In 2017, an article in the journal Israeli Studies, researchers found false accounts blaming the slaying on settlers and Zionist extremists persisted even after the arrest of the assailant and his confinement in a mental institution, and there are patterns of ritual murder accusation in the popular narrative. In 2009, Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem declared Philomenos, a saint, 30 years after his death. Abuna, meaning father. Eustinos, a well-respected Greek Orthodox priest and novelist, later spearheaded a huge reconstruction project. Jacob's well has since been restored and a new church modeled along the design of the Crusader-era church houses the well inside and the crypt on the lower level. This is not true. Let me tell you the actual story. Okay? Jewish settlers, and it was settlers, came along and said to, um, to this martyr, you know, Archimandrite, Philomenus, uh, and they said, get off, get off our holy land, you know, because it's Jacob's well. It's holy to uh, Jews, Christians, Muslims, and Samaritans. And I would think uh, Mandaeans as well. But uh, the Archimandrite page um, pointed out that these stones that the men were standing on were laid down by Constantine. And so they went away, and as he was performing uh, the rites of the liturgy, they came back with an axe and hacked him to death. Now, to say that it was just um, one mentally ill man, I don't know who is censoring. Well, it could, have been, it could be anybody who's censoring Wikipedia. We don't need to go into grand conspiracy theories on, you know, you know, is it Mark Zuckerberg, or is it this, or is it that? But it's um, it's quite clearly um, this story has been changed from a group of Hasids to one mentally ill man. No. It was a group. And we know, I mean, many of you may know about the, uh, the van that the Israeli 
um, police force uh, bound in front of an all-girls uh, Maronite school, all-girls Catholic school, because the Hasids wanted to blow up a bunch of Arabs. Again, they do not care that if they're Muslim, right? If these Zionists, these, these fanatical Zionists were only going after Sunni Muslims, radical Sunni Muslims, that could be understood. Um, you know, male, fighting age, Sunni Muslims, that could be understood. But going after Christian girls, I mean, under the age of 13, when they're in school, this is despicable just because these people who have not even been there, um, whose, <coughs> whose ancestors have come from Poland and Lithuania, and they are the first, second, or maybe possibly third generation to live in um, Canaan. And yet these girls who their family possibly date back to the um, have blood of the the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Zealots in them because they've always been there. And these uh, these Ashkenazi uh, Hasids want to kill them. <coughs> you must always remember remind the Protestants and the um, the people who you think are on on our side because oh they're they're right wing they're for Israel. No, Israel is primarily a, is against. Palestinians, not because they are Muslims, not because Hamas is, is fanatical Muslim, fanatical Islam. They hate them because they hate them. They hate them because they're Palestinian. If they were able, they would tear down the Church of Holy Sepulchre. They would destroy the Church of Nativity. They would utterly annihilate St. Mary's on Mount Zion. They would destroy the arches on um, Mount Moriah. So, do not be fooled. The uh, the Zionist and there there there's Rabbi Shapiro, not Ben Shapiro, but Rabbi Shapiro, who is an anti-Zionist. Excellent man, Yoel and Mindy, my friends, who I've not been able to talk to in years. Anti-Zionists, they're Orthodox Jews. It is not about being anti-Semitic because those Maronite girls are 100% Semites and those Ashkenazi Jews are not Semites at all. What the Israeli learned from World War II was do it to them before they do it to you. To you. And... Um, that uh, that the whole world wants to exterminate them. So they need to exterminate the rest of the world. They did not learn the message of compassion. And also, they have been teaching their children that the worst, the worst, most horrific thing ever done was the Holocaust, was the Shoah, was the Holocaust, which was only perpetrated against the Jewish people in Europe. And it's the worst thing that could possibly ever happen. So how could they ever have compassion for another people? Their only goal in life is to make sure it never happens again. And if they have to kill 150 innocent girls, so be it. They have learned the wrong lesson from the show. They have learned the wrong lesson from the Holocaust. They have learned the wrong lesson from Treblinka and Auschwitz. Israel is the modern state of Israel has never has never been an ally to any country, or should I say, never been a friend to any country besides itself, and is no friend to Christians. Um, evangelicals who donate to Israel, the modern state of Israel, are idiots. They hold parades. They look at them with disdain. 
and they persecute Christians. They even persecute the <coughs> Jews who become evangelical Christians, the Jews for Jesus. Um, there's footage of how they treat indigenous Arab Christians, throwing rocks at them. Peace to you. This is the truth.